Feskar Magush, Dagas Fach to Orscht, Yen Lesson Show. Good afternoon to you and welcome to this lesson. Hope your day is going well. Today, we're going to take a look at these three words, Er, Ura, and Ora. These are three small words that can have a big impact on your Gaelic. Plus, I'm going to show you how to speak in shorter phrases like a native speaker would. Gleva. Okay, Maha. So let's sort out what we have up here. So, ed, ed, or in some dialects, eth, ed means on, and it can really mean on it. Ura, on it. Ora, on them. Okay, so we've got ed and ura, on it and on it. <laughs> Two ons it. We're on it. That's horrible, 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 horrible. Kiyu, Kiyu, Ed and Ura. Good afternoon to you and welcome to this lesson. I hope your day is going well. Today we're going to take a close look at three little words that can have a big impact on your Gaelic. They will have a big impact on your Gaelic because they're going to help you speak in shorter phrases, more succinctly like a native speaker would. So let's take a look at what we have. Er, Ura, Ora. So, ed means on, really means on it, sometimes. Ura, on it, ora, on them. So these, these are all forms of on. And if we're used to speaking English or working with a language that only has, you know, one word for on or in, this can be really frustrating. And that's normal, because we're rewiring our brains to think of these words in a different way, and that's fine. We're going to use these in a lot of different ways so that they feel more natural to you. And again, to shorten your phrases down. Okay, so, on it, on it, on them. Gleva. Ed, Ura, Ora. Gleva. So we have some examples here around the board. And these are some pretty high frequency ways that we would use these three words. You can use these phrases in everyday conversation. Gleva. Let's start up here. Hadroch chlu blank. <laughs> if you've seen the video about the cat school in the Witcher world, you've seen this phrase before. Hadroch chlu. And then we can put in, what, are, what can we add here? Hadroch chlu ed. Skol Bechich. Hadroch chlu er skol echich. Blank has a bad reputation. So this is the cat school. And this is not the type of school where you send your cat to learn and get degrees. No, this is the, the Witcher cat school. They're very infamous. And check out that story if you want to know more about them, why they're really feared in the Witcher world. Okay, why they have a bad reputation. Hadroch chlu er skol echich. Right? The cat school has a bad reputation. There's a difference here in translation. In English, we say they have a reputation, but in Gaelic, a reputation's on you. It's something that's on you, not something you have. That already can be a big difference to remember. So, reputation is on you in Gaelic, so we need to use one of these. Because all these are forms of on, right? So, hadroch chlu er skol echich. The cat school has a bad reputation. Or, Bad, a bad reputation is on the cat school. This is fine as it is, 
But what if you don't want to keep saying over and over, on the cat school, on the cat school, the cat school, the cat school, the cat school? What if we were to shorten this to, there's a bad reputation on it. It, meaning skull, the cat school. It has a bad reputation. Well, to make that shorter, we're going to need one of these. We don't need this one, because skull is just singular. But which one of these do we use? Ed or Uda? What do we do? How do we know? Well, <clears throat> skull, skull, I just erased it, but skull is grammatically feminine. It's in the group of words in Gaelic that are considered feminine and when we're talking about the structure of language and how it all works together. So, we want the on that's for that kind of word. And it's Uda. On it or on her. And let's make a little note here. Uda is for grammatically feminine words. Mm -hmm. Uda. So Uda can refer to a person, like a specific person, you know, bad reputations on her, her over there, or it could be on a thing. And in Gaelic, a thing is either masculine or it's feminine. Yeah, so this is what we use for feminine things. Yeah, and also feminine people. <laughs> feminine individuals. There we are. So, Uda. Uda. So, coming back to our example, Hadroch Chlu. Er skol echech, or we could just say had droch chlu uda. Done. It has a bad reputation, and in this case, we're talking about the cat school, because remember, school in feminine is technically a feminine word. School in Gaelic is technically a feminine word, so we want uda. That's the kind of it we want. Or, excuse me, the kind of on we want. And the kind of it. Gleva hadroch chlu ura. It has a bad reputation. <clears throat> what if we are talking about a place? A place, a city, you know, that's technically masculine. We want ed. Ed. Got him. Arishch. So this is when it comes in handy to know what type of word you're working with. And this isn't to say you need to know, you know the grammatical gender of every single word that you have. Go slowly, you know, just work with a few at a time. Otherwise, you might have to, have to go and repeat the process of learning them all again, and then learning them all again, and learning them all again. If you go just a few at a time, maybe words that you'd use often, like table, cat, cup, things like that. Those will stick in your mind much more because they're part of your everyday life. Yeah, don't give yourself too much to work with at first. Truly, truly. It seems kind of counterintuitive. It seems a bit silly, but it's how you're really going to master these, as opposed to just having to relearn them constantly until they stick, which they may or may not. Yeah, if you work on just a few at a time, they'll stick much better. Okay, hadroch chlu ura, talking about the cat school. It has a bad reputation. Gleva, what else could we do? Talking about a place. Um, Novigrad, right? If you're, if you don't like, if you don't like cities and all that, Novigrad. Hadroch chlu er Novigrad. We could say on Novigrad because remember reputations on you. But what if we just want to say it? We don't want to say the name of the place, just it. It, it, it. We want this one here. Hadroch chlu er. Nice. It has a bad reputation. Cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> 
clever, <clears throat> clever. So, we can actually talk about people this way too. He has a bad reputation. How do we say that? He has a bad reputation. Watch out. Ed means on him. So there's a bad reputation on him. This is about a person. What about Ura? She has a bad reputation. This can also be about a person. Ura. On her, right? A bad reputation's on her. A bad reputation's on him. What about them? They have a bad reputation. Those rapscallions. <laughs> Ora. On them. On them. There's a bad reputation on them. There we go. We've actually made our sentence quite short instead of listing who the bad reputation is on or what it's on. It's okay to do that, but just keep in mind you can shorten things once you know little words like these. And it's very good to do that as well. So, just a quick recap. Er can mean on it, if it's a thing, or on him, a specific person. Ure could mean on it, if it's a thing, or on her, meaning a specific person. Ora can mean on them, meaning things, maybe like a bunch of tables over there. Or it can mean on a group of people, and this can also be used for non-binary individuals as well. Gleva. These three little words are so useful. Okay, Maha. So, talking about bad reputation being on someone, what if they don't have a bad reputation? Let's come down here. Hmm. Chaniel, Chaniel, Drochlu, Er. So maybe we're talking about Geralt. He doesn't have that bad of a reputation. No. Well, again, it depends who you talk to. But in the grand scheme of things, Chaniel, <laughs> Drochlu, Er. Right? It, or let's, we're using he here. He. does not have a bad reputation. Hmm. Chaniel trochlu er. Because er means on him. A bad reputation is not, is not on him. Sweet. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Kleva. Okay. What about she does not have a bad reputation? Which one are we going to use? Ura, because Ura means on her, right? Chaniel trochlu Ura. There we are. Nice. And this is she doesn't have a bad reputation. Yeah. What about they don't have a bad reputation? Those ones over there do, or those ones we were talking about before, they do. But these ones over here, no, they don't. <laughs> they don't have a bad reputation. Ora. There we go. Nice. Chaniel trochlu ora. There's not a bad reputation on them. Ora meaning on them. Chaniel trochlu ura meaning on her, chaniel drochlu er, meaning on him. And er and ura and ora can also mean things too. Yeah, like a certain place, a, maybe a certain, um, a certain area, that kind of thing, having a bad reputation. Okay, kleva. So, reputation is on you. It's a really good chance to see these three in action. Let's come up here. If you've learned, if you've been learning Gaelic for a little while, you've probably come across this phrase, how to say names, how to talk about names, really. So, she, what can we do here? She, Geralt. Talking about Geralt of Rivia. She, Geralt, Antenium. Hmm. 
Names are on you in Gaelic. Like reputation, names are on you. So it's Geralt, the name that's on him. We want to say Geralt is the name on him. Geralt is his name. Notice in English we say it's his name. But in Gaelic it's on you. It's something else that's on you. Mm. So what do we do? We want Ed, and we put it here at the end. Whoop. She Geralt and Tenyum ahead. Geralt, uh, Geralt, oh, Morsch. That's fun. <laughs> it's English. <laughs> Is his name. I've smoothed out the translation to Geralt is his name. But literally we're saying it is Geralt the name that is on him. Is Geralt the name that is on him? Cleva. Okay, what about... Well, I mean, talk about Geralt, we'll probably have to talk about Yennefer at some point too. So what's her name? You know, maybe, you know, she's traveling and stopping at a in somewhere, someone sees her. What's her name? She Yennefer. She Yennefer and Tenyum. Uh, Huda. She Yennefer and Tenyum a Huda. It's Yennefer, the name that's on her. Cleva. <laughs> and here's a little trick. It's fine to use this, you know, the name that's on me. A lot of native pe excuse me, a lot of native speakers prefer it. However, you don't always have to do it that way. It's kind of formal in a way. It's wordy. I've I've um, been around some native speakers who have said, "Don't you know? Don't need to be so formal." You know, there are other ways of saying it. So we can actually get rid of. Actually, I'm not going to erase it. I'll cross it out so you can see the difference. Ooh, there we go. She get out ahead. She get out ahead. She get out ahead. Um, let's see, but we will need to change the translation here. Uh, okay. So we can move that over. Let's move it over as well. So we need our machine orange. He is called Geralt. She Geralt the head. He's called Geralt. So on one hand, he's called Geralt. Geralt is his name. It's a bit more formal, right? It's also longer and more complicated. And it's totally fine to use these shorter, more informal phrases. Mm -hmm. I, I heard this far more often, actually, in my time in Nova Scotia than I would hear, you know, the long, she, da da da, and tenyum, her, you know. Mm -mm. So, kind of more colloquially, right? More every day. You don't have to use the whole phrase with name in it. You can just use she. Name ahead. Gleva. Okay. <clears throat> and what about Yennefer? She Yennefer Ahura. She is called Yennefer, right? Gleva. Ah, them. We need an example with them. If you've read the books, played the games, Maybe you're familiar with the squirrels. Yeah, the, um, I, I wouldn't really call them brigands, but they're like guerrilla freedom fighters. Yeah, the elves and the, anyone who's not human, really fighting against the humans. Yeah. So we could say, they are squirrels. They're squirrels. Uh, let's stick with pink. She squirrels. Or Fjorakin, if we want to have some fun in Gaelic. She <laughs> Fjorakin. And then on them. Uh, 
There we go. Say. are called squirrels. Nice. Leva. So, obviously in, in an everyday life we're not going to talk about the Witcher every single moment we can. Nothing wrong with that. But <laughs> So, you could say um, maybe you meet someone for the first time or, you know, you're getting to know a new friend. I have, you know, brothers maybe and, you know, oh, saying their names. She... I don't know, Shea Callum, I guess, Mike, uh, Hora. Callum and Mike, that's on them. And it's implied we're talking about names. They're called Callum and Mike, right? Sisters, you know, Shea Katriana, I guess, Ailey, uh, Hora. It's Katriana and Ailey that's on them. Obviously, these are names, talking about my sisters, for example. And you wouldn't just do that randomly, you know. One would already be speaking about family and saying, oh, I have, you know, I have two sisters, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, we can use, you know, the longer phrase with antenium in it, or the word enium with name, but we don't have to. Cleva.